Jason, let's talk a little bit about the flies we use today. Now, the big fly for me was the leech. Uh, can you explain why it, it happened to be the big one for us today? Well, there are a lot of leeches in the water. Yeah. Uh, the water clarity was a little bit off today, and so it's a little bit larger bug, um, catches a fish's eye. And so for the, that reason, I think that's why the leech was the they, ticket. They also move, uh, they, they look nice and furry here, but they actually move pretty good in right, the water. Right, they pulsate a little bit in the water. Mm -hmm. Now you've got different colored ones here. Is, that, is there different colored leeches here? Uh, most of them are a charcoal color. Uh, some of them will be kind of an olive to charcoal. Um, so just depends on your lighting conditions. will change the water clarity colors. will change it. Uh, one thing I do know the, to the folks back home that uh, black will show up in any color water. Black shows up. Uh, reds and yellows don't. They turn black at certain lights. So black is the best color when you run into the conditions that we ran into. Now we also have the hare's ear. That worked today. Any particular reason why? Uh, it could be taken as a scud. It could be taken as an emerging caddis. Um, it could represent a lot of things. A hare's ear is an ancient old pattern that's worked for yes, a long it's, it's time. It's just an old, so. old standby, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Yes. It is. Any other, any other uh, patterns that we might want to think about when we we come to Wyoming as yeah. far as? When you come out, you definitely want a good supply of scuds. Uh, midge patterns in black and olive. Um, a lot of scuds, though, yeah. of various colors. Yep. Uh, pheasant tails, anything pheasant like that? Pheasant tails work. Yeah. Um, not not really princes, but prince nymphs are a decent pattern uh, in waters around here. Now, I'm noticing that our, our leech patterns and our, our hares here are on the small size. Compared to, uh, I'm from the east uh, in, in Ontario, we usually fish them much bigger, so they're much smaller here. Uh, is that is that a benefit here, or can we go bigger? Or? Uh, you could go bigger. Uh, we try to match pretty much what's in uh, the natural leech, and most of the natural leeches are about the length of your pinky, okay. uh, real thin. Yeah, they're not big like a lot of the lakes back in Minnesota where right. they get real big. Right. Another good fish. Yeah. All right. Get him on the reel. Soft, subtle, subtle, subtle. Yeah, that was that one was definitely a Super subtle take. Subtle. We're in a little little slower water, and we really had to watch the indicator on this one. It just slightly moved, and that's when I set the hook. Now, as I was saying before, I'm oh, and he let go. I'm having a little trouble with this rod. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my rod up later on today and put a, a number six weight on. I got a number five on right now. I think it's a little bit soft. I'm not able to set the hook hard enough uh, for the fish right now, and I've lost quite a few. Yes, yeah, that one, oh, good fish too. Good fish, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh is he gone? I don't know. Strip, I think he might still be there. Yeah, he he's yes. still on. Okay, I gotta get this on the reel. This is a really good fish. Jason has taken us into a little channel here. There's so much moss around that the fish are laying in these little tiny channels. And I've missed a number of fish today. They're very tough to, to hook up. Oh boy, well, as you can see, the moss that I have on my line right now. <laughs> this is a oh, very strong fish, very, very strong fish. Very impressive. Oh, he's, he's fighting tough. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I just love it when it screams out like that. <laughs> just love it. This fish has got shoulders. Now he didn't look like when he jumped, he didn't look like he was very long, but he's, he feels th thick. He's very strong, very strong. And Jason, we're just about ready with the net. Let's get him up here. And yes, sir, very nice. Now, what did he, he took the leech. The leech there? The leech, yes. Okay, I'll let you. There we go, off with him. Very nice fish, what, about 16, 17 inches? Nice fish, we got. The setup we use today is a floating line with a tapered leader down to a 5x tippet. The indicator is placed approximately two times the depth of the water. 
We also had a two-fly setup using a beadhead hare's ear nymph and a leech pattern. In this area, two flies are allowed to be used. Check your local regulations for restrictions. You must follow along with the rod tip at the same speed the indicator is traveling. It's also important to try to keep the line up off the surface of the water. This will keep drag to a minimum. Nymphing, it's important to try to keep your cast fairly short. You don't want to cast far out because it's very difficult to continually mend to control your drift. You'll get drag and drag is bad even when you're nymphing. What I try to do is keep it short and I'll wade out as far as I can, safely mind you, as far as I can and keep my cast fairly short as you see here. Uh, and then I, it, only then will I lengthen my cast when I have no choice because the water's too deep. Hi, I'm Tom Rosenbauer. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe and you can get all our weekly uploads.